pretty good 1500 tonight. 404, not far off your PB, coming into shape the right time. How did you feel up there? Um, I felt good. I mean, I I ran a 1500 at Mount Sac and really like went out a little too fast for what my training had been. Um, yeah, I know I had been doing a lot of just like strength work and hadn't really done a ton of a ton of race specificity. So I went out over my head that day and felt like garbage. So today I actually felt nice and. Um, I think it's my maybe second fastest time ever, so I'm happy with that. Um, I feel like I'm, you know, coming in to race shape at the right time. I knew I was really strong. I've done a ton of weeks at 90 miles a week, which is my highest, and have been really healthy and felt good. So just, you know, pre and Mount Sac were so, so, and I'm happy to have today go well. You've been through a lot this last fall since the Olympics. Talk a little bit about some of the things that you've been through and how you've recovered from the setbacks. Yeah, um, well, obviously Tokyo was a, was a bummer. Um, I came in really feeling like I could win a medal. And um, obviously Courtney Frericks is someone who she and I are, um, you know, battling frequently. And so for her to win the silver in such a great race where she pushed and charged um, so far out by herself, you know, I felt like I was in the, the shape to join her in that effort. Um, and so it's awesome that we still had an American on the podium at the Olympics, which is, you know, two Olympics in a row now, which is great. But that was um, my my failure that day was, was disappointing. Um, mentally, I really bounced back and thought I could hit the rest of the Diamond League season and my body just was not feeling it. So took a big break, um, took several months for my body to kind of start feeling normal. Um, and then on a training run, like right when I started getting back into shape, I like stepped on a, in a pothole and like did some cartilage damage in my ankle that I had to take some time off for. Um, so I kind of had a rocky fall and thought I could do the indoor season, uh, but did some workouts that revealed that that would have been a, a shit show. So Joe and I decided not to do that and decided to just really dive dive in on some solid strength foundation that I didn't get to in the fall. And you've had you've had some COVID issues in your chin group. I know Kate got yep. hit really hard. Did you get that at all? Um, I've never tested positive for COVID. I, you know, I've taken several PCRs and obviously endless rapids and have been heavily exposed, but I haven't tested positive yet. Uh, and <laughs> I think, you know, every everyone in the world has been really impacted by COVID and the professional running scene is no different and it's certainly hard when you see your friends and training partners get hit hit so hard and they do everything right and they treat their bodies really well and it's just it's just life you know you can take all the precautions and still you know be vaccinated and all of that and still still get it and have some setbacks so um yeah our group is not like is not just similar from others but definitely hard to see your friends uh struggle through that but Kate's doing well now and she's She's training a little bit and, uh, you know, it's been nice to have her around and have her back. So it's going to be some new faces in the steeplechase. Did, yes. did you see the NCAA record went down today? Yes, of course. Courtney Women, she did, she did awesome. Obviously, nine, oh, wow. Yeah. So fancy. Um, 9.16.0, oh, that's super legit. Um, and she, I didn't watch it. I typically don't watch track meets the day of my own races because I get a little nervous, but I was following the results and um, you know, saw that she ran the whole second half or last 2K solo, and she's she's been good in the event for years and been in the mix. So this year's no different. And uh, yeah, the college college people always come into the mix at some point. At what you know, back in the day, that was that was me 10 years ago. So um, she's great, and obviously we have some of the veterans are are going to be there and. Um, I have some training partners that are young steeplechase girls that I think will do well as well. So it's going to be it's going to be a, an exciting meet in two weeks for sure. Well, we look forward to uh, seeing you in two weeks in Eugene, and congratulations tonight. Thanks.